All right, so I'm here with uh, Ryan Houlihan. He's from Kentucky, service manager up in Kentucky. And uh, he just came down because he's apparently as nerdy as I am and wanted to talk air conditioning even on his vacation. So we're gonna go check some jobs, hopefully, hopefully, get my first shot of the pipe wiper in action, or as you know it, the path wapper. We're gonna go wap some paps. I forgot to do my introduction. Yeah, I'm Ryan with HVAC School. I want to do this video specifically about the pipe wiper product because a lot of you have asked about it. And the first question is, why would we use it in the first place? I mean, what's the utility of it? And the answer is a lot of manufacturers are starting to say that they don't really want solvents being used to clean the lines, but we want to make sure that we get any residual acids, any of the old mineral oil out of the lines, if at all possible. Um, and some of these solvents that are used, while they may be good products, they can also be dangerous both for the technicians and for the environment. You know, you have to catch them when they come out. And as you know, a lot of technicians may not may not be doing that the way that they should be. So by using the pipe wiper product, we don't have any of those risks. So let me show you how it works. Yeah, yeah. So I'm here with, I'm here with uh, Les Broadbent. Les is really, he really likes the camera. <laughs> so, uh, so explain to us the reason why we're not uh, replacing copper on this one and why we're flushing it. Yeah, and the biggest reason, uh, the main reason, we just couldn't get access to the roof line to drop it down overhead and drop it down along the wall. Okay. And cover it with line hide like we do. Um, which is sad sometimes because it's nice to replace the copper so you're protecting the equipment. Um, but at this point we just had to do a pressure test on the lines, make sure they're they're good to go and we're gonna do a flush then we're gonna wipe them through with a we're gonna pipe do wipe. We're gonna do a pipe wipe, aren't Correct. we? Correct. Got the pipe wiper. This is the, what they call the commercial version, which really just means that it has inch and an eighth pigs and an inch, inch and an eighth launcher. So we've got all the different sizes. Is this inch and an eighth, and this is inch and three eighths? Then, That's I think the eighths. pigs. I think the pigs do multiple sizes. So this 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 pig here does seven eighths and, and three quarter, right? I'm making a really good video here. <laughs> yeah, introductory to pipe wiping. I'm not gonna be able to get that one out now. Here, here we go. Here, inch and three eighths, inch and a quarter, three quarters or seven eighths, half inch, three eighths, five eighths. Boom. Boom shakalaka. That's what it is. And so you just clamp it, you clamp it onto the line using the adapter based on the line size, and then you put the catch net in the end so that way you catch the pig when it comes out, or the wiper, as it were. All right, let's do this thing. So after we pressure tested the lines, we had soldered them shut previously. So now we'll just cut them out so we can access the opening for our pipe. All right. All right, here we go. So we'll do the three eighths first. The biggest, I don't know if you want me to say problem, but the biggest is just adapting one piece to the other. You always have to have your nut driver handy, which is usually handy anyway, but. Man, you guys are using drills for everything. Impact drivers for everything, man. Kids these days. We got the little. So I'm just gonna put that that's there. The, that's the, that's the three eighths one? Yes. So that should blast right through there. It's a new regulator. <laughs> I had to pick up a new one for more force. We had the flow night regulators for brazing, um, but for pipe wiping, the, the one we can adjust for the pressure um, seems to help out a little bit more with a little bit more pressure. Um, so you're saying the Western Enterprise ones that we use with the brazing? Um, correct, they're limited pressure on those, so you can't get a full burst that you need. Depending on which one you use. So. Give my assistant a shout, letting him know it's on its way. <laughs> letting him know it's about to pop him in the face. Ooh, no wonder our installs take so long. It's a process. Jesus Christos. It's a process. Oh, I got the window open. <laughs> All right, here she comes. All right, yeah, so watch your face position, because if it comes off, it's going to shoot back. There's a, there's a safety. Yeah, that's why we use our nut drivers, too, to make sure it's secure. So just... Oh, 
I just give it a little bit of extra nitrogen through there. Just in case there's any little particles that came off of the pig. Correct, and we sometimes put put the um, pipe wiper of the pig, as you would say, uh, two or three times, depending on the, how much oil that we're getting out of there. And it just takes all the excess oil out of the line, so it's really a great tool. All right, so all we'll right. go down and take gonna... a look, see what we got. All right. Tech, rich tech tip, don't let the dog out. Otherwise, um, that one band will make a song about you. That wasn't funny. Edit that out. <laughs> As you can see, when, when it did come out, we had a lot of excess um, discoloration. So you know there's stuff in the pipes that we're cleaning right out. So anything that's been oxidized or you know dirty oil, it had come out. I like what I like what Larry's doing here, sealing her right up again. I got a good I got a good picture of your bald spot there, Larry. Not that you have one. <laughs> you don't have to look very good. <laughs> Not that you have one. <laughs> Alright, now we'll do that. You're catching up with me though. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. No, I think I've already passed you. Alright, here it comes. Alright. Alright. I'm I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> like seriously. Boom. <laughs> Just watch. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of cool. I wasn't yeah, expecting there... the strange noises. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there really wasn't much. There wasn't much oil in that one. That's a good thing. Whoa, wait a second. <laughs> hey, Les, you blew through too. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get that one out now. I think. Well, hey, this one here got double, got double wiped, and that that right there proves to you that these suckers will go through, because uh, we just pushed two through at a time. You uh. Doubled them up there, bro. When, oh, the one you stuck in there. <laughs> you couldn't get out. <laughs> uh, what do you mean I couldn't get it out? I got I got huge muscles. I forgot it was in there. You're going to have to retape this one because I want to show the inside of this pipe, Larry. Is that all right? Sorry. I don't know. I'll just Man, put it back. Nowhere we can't make money. All the state will waste That is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, this thing is. Up our install. This thing, I mean, literally. Oh, normally, normally when you stick your finger in one of these pipes. You still feel old. I mean, this is like bone, bone dry. Here, get, come on, Ryan. I mean, we, need to, we need it. We need a third party. I'm in. Yeah. Oh, Kentucky just, test. Don't, don't cut yourself. Jeez. Kentucky test. Oh yeah. I mean that is like there is nothing in that pipe. Huh. You just contaminated putting your sweaty. <laughs> well, that might be that. that might be true. That might be true. But I mean, what's a little? My actually actually for me it's 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 actually not a problem at all because I sweat poe. <laughs> yeah. Pure pure poe. Mm -hmm. All right, pipe wiper. That's it. That's all there is to show. Yep. See how easy that was? No, no dangerous solvents. I bet you're concerned about dangerous solvents, aren't you, Larry? I love the smell of it. All right, so, <laughs> so uh, I'm Brian with HVAC School. Thanks for watching. See you next time.